Amen and amen. And uh, thank you also for staying through with us. John chapter 15 and verse 8 which says, This is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. This is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. God is glorified when we, when our lives demonstrate that we are abiding in Him, therefore bearing fruit for Him when we are united with Christ. And no wonder scripture also says in the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 11 to 12, that with this in mind, we constantly pray for you that our Lord may make you worthy of His calling and that by His power He may bring up to fruition your every desire for goodness and for every deed prompted by faith. We pray this so that the name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in you and in and you in him according to the grace of our Lord and according to the grace of our God and Lord Jesus Christ. So tonight our focus being John chapter 15 verse 8 which talks about God being glorified when we bear much fruit. We are going to pray that as we continue in this season of prayer and fasting, first and foremost our lives will bear much fruit. Not because we are doing things by our own power or strength but because we are abiding in Him. Because we are keeping at His feet. Because our minds and our hearts are stayed on Him. We are also going to pray that God will help us to keep focusing on him and you know there are many distractions there are many things that may come our way but then it is for us to fight back and to tell God help me to remain in you to stay in you so that I may bear this fruit and when we bear fruit then it brings glory and honor unto our God so shall we pray our dear Heavenly Father we thank you so much because of what you desire for us as believers that we may bear much fruit we thank you God because you are glorified when you bear fruit and fruit that is much, O God. We give you praise for your word. We thank you, Lord. And we pray that King of all glory, may you help us to keep focus to you, to keep our focus on you and on your word and on your leading, on your will for us during this season. Father, we pray that you'll keep us away from distractions that will cause us to fall away, O dear God. And may you help us to remain rooted in you. May you help us, O God, to remain anchored in you. May you help us to remain main surrendered in you and in an intimate relationship oh dear God with you even as we begin our time of prayer and fasting Lord I pray that you'll give us such a great longing for you dear God knowing that without you we can do no good thing that outside of you Lord God we are nothing how I pray Jehovah God that you'd make us worthy of your calling oh dear God may you make us worthy of the calling that you have for each of us Lord I pray that your power that by your power oh God would you bring to fruition every desire that we have of goodness in us oh God Lord we desire goodness in this season oh God we desire fruitfulness oh God and we pray that by your power dear God may you bring to fruition these desires that we have my God the Lord will be aligned to you in this season and even beyond in the the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray that even in this time of prayer and fasting, oh dear God, would you help us, dear God, to deepen our understanding and our experience in abiding in you, dear God. Give us a deeper understanding of who you are. May you grow us, oh God deeper in our walk with you and in our relationship with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray that you will hold us, you will walk with us, Lord. You will glorify yourself in our lives, dear God, that Father God will not fall away, will not be distracted, will, will not be discouraged, oh dear God, will not be exhausted. But King of all glory, let your spirit awaken the spirit man in us, oh God, that we will tarry at the place of prayer, that God will tarry at the place of, of fasting, oh dear God, waiting on you and calling on the heavens, that God, you will remember us, that God, you will see our hearts, dear God, and strengthen us in this season, oh God. So Father, we pray for a deeper relationship with you. We pray, my God, for more knowledge of you, my God, deeper experiences with you, oh God, more encounters with you, oh mighty Father, in this season to your glory and honor. Lord, we pray that as we carry on with the activities in our homes, my Father, may you watch over us, may you text. May you watch over our families, oh dear God, and may you fill our hearts with your peace that surpasses all human understanding. We bless you and we honor you for this we've prayed, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 
Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let us share the words of the grace together. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. You search much deeper So